I warned you, didn't I? I told you to be careful, right? I won't be unfair and all that stuff. And here he is taking a stand against us at our own game. He began challenging us immediately. Oh, you just didn't listen to me, my god. There's no need to worry. I know how to deal with him. But he's a grown man now. You gave him the power in his hands. If I gave it, I can take it back. Who is the stronger one? When we have a Trump like this guy. <laughs> See you later, dear. See you, mother. <laughs> Don't exaggerate, Simon. Okay, come on. What happened, dude? Are you bored? I can't say it's been that fun. It's a company. We're making business here. Get used to it. Well, how was that meeting? Amazing. I'll tell you later. Where is that damn girl? turned all shades of purple, and Rasat could hardly pull his face together, for real. Munir considered himself a clever man. He needed a panic button. They'll understand that I'm not like my father, and they'll see. Today is the milestone. They'll no longer be able to take whatever they want. Mr. Erdogan. Erdogan, can you come? Veral, leave us alone for a while. I'm listening. I'd like to give you some advice right now. Why, yes, of course. If it wasn't for me, you'd be in prison having a fling with some scary prisoner and begging me for help again, okay? Yes, and along with Salim, backwards and forwards. Shut up and listen to me. Shut up. Look, your father never once disrespected his own brother, ever. They gained a good place in this business world, and they got bigger and bigger. They didn't carry their egos to the company. Your own father never did anything wrong to his brother. And that's why he gained a place in that company. And now you're here because of the amount of respect he had shown. You're not an opponent, but you are a partner. I'm aware of that. You're not aware of anything yet. You're simply walking on air and flying foolishly. But be careful where you land on. I wouldn't take a stand against Rasat Yasaran. Are you threatening me now, Munir? <laughs> uh, look, we're all on the same page here, okay? If you get yourself in trouble somewhere else, you'll be far away from us. Things are not cooled down yet. Mustafa is all around you like a fierce wolf. The sheep that separates from the flock is grabbed by the wolf. You are threatening me. <laughs> ah, Munir, uh, this young fellow wants to see you. Your name's Mustafa, right? It Go is. Go in, Mustafa. What would you like to talk about, Mustafa. <clears throat> Mr. Munir, they prepared a work trip for me yesterday. And? I have to tell you that I can't go. You're not going to tell me. You're going to tell Mr. Erdogan, for it's his job now. And why can't you just go now? My mother is sick. She came here with my father for her treatment. I see. And is it serious? Well, she needs to receive dialysis treatment. I have to stay in, in Istanbul in order to take care of them. Okay, I get it, but are you aware that we created this job just for you, right? I know that. And I understand that you can fire me under these conditions. But you know how much I need this job, sir. 
You want to stay in Istanbul, am I correct? Well, that's great timing. <laughs> I know I'm new here, but I have to. Uh, wait a second, let's consider this. You want to stay in Istanbul permanently, and you want to work with us in this company. I, I just really want your help. I can't say anything about this. We should ask Mr. Rissad. What do you think, then? I think we can work something out. Let's think of an empty position. There's no need to think about it, no. If Mustafa wants, he can become my chauffeur. He can take care of his mother and continue on working for us. With the same salary and the same conditions. What do you say, Mustafa? Do you want to become my chauffeur? I want it so much. If Mr. Munir and Mr. Rasat say it's okay, of course. What do you say, Uncle? Seeing that you want to help Mustafa, I can't think of a better opportunity, am I right? I... I just don't know. I definitely need a rational and trustworthy man like Mustafa with me. Thanks. Thank you. Well, it's up to you. Let's call the personnel department. No, no, there's no need for that. Welcome, Mustafa. Thank you so much. It was that simple. I'm good at business. Congratulations, Mustafa. Thank you. Have a seat. Let's talk about your new job. See you later. Well then. Being my man is a very important job, Mustafa. I want to be sure that you won't disappoint me, and that you are deserving of this job. You don't have to worry. Munir employed you, so that means that you are reliable. I need a man who is reliable and intelligent like you, so this will work well. The most important thing to me is loyalty. Loyalty to your work and to your boss. But there is one thing that I will tell you now. That is, you don't owe Munir because he employed you, and of course you'll show respect to everyone. But then, because you are working for me, I will tell you this. You will listen to just me, and that is all. I know that you helped me when I was in trouble. There's no way I will let you down. We will see. Everything in life has a fair trade. Therefore, if I am pleased with you, I will take care of you as well. Now take this, and get some nice clothes. You won't be just behind a wheel, you'll be in full view. Take it now. Thank you so much. Go to this shop. Tell them that you're my new chauffeur, and they'll take care of you. I will, sir. What's up this evening? I'll go home. Let's go to my house. I don't want to leave my mother alone while she's still feeling so badly. Won't you come? I'm going home. Good, okay, we'll have dinner. Can we take you home at least? No, nah, I brought my car. Yes, that's it. Now it's obvious that you are Erdogan's driver. Thank you. You look great, Mustafa. Thank you. So he makes him feel like he's a big shot. Stupid. This is also a threat to you, Salim. <laughs> he's saying, don't play with me. If I am destroyed, I will destroy you. From now on, you'll need to be careful. 
both here at work and outside. It's obvious he's using you to hurt me. Be careful. Keep your eyes open at all times. I can see everything. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> Father, can we not talk about this now? Later, please. If you hadn't done something like that with him, we wouldn't be dealing with this. We would have fired Erdogan and then it would be all over. He will cause very big troubles. I've had enough of this, Munir. Come on. I've always dealt with people who... We're all different, so what is the problem? Are you saying that we can't deal with this? He will see what will happen. You just watch. Well, I guess I'm just not as relaxed as you then, huh? We'll have to wait, and then his turn will come. And then everyone will see.